Yo, what is up, guys? It's Mobile Carrier News, and we have here T-Mobile and Dish Network, and the CEO of Dish is not really quite happy with T-Mobile, and is calling the CEO of T-Mobile and the company itself the the Magenta Grinch. So what's basically happening is Dish is using T-Mobile's network at the moment because uh, Dish is trying to be at the fourth carrier to create their own 5G network. And Dish is honestly very late to the game because I guess they've never built out a network at all. They never built out 3G, 4G, anything. So they're used to temporarily using Dish, uh, Dish's, uh, they're probably using, I'm sorry, T-Mobile's network so they can build out their own network. And what T-Mobile is going to do by January 2022, so next year, they're going to shut down. They're using, they're going to shut down a lot of um, Sprint's networks. And the thing is, this is using half of Sprint's and T-Mobile's networks. And Dish is not quite happy with that because they're going to have to replace that zero network with their own. And the problem with that is they're not ready because they haven't even they haven't even built out their own 5G network. Now keep in mind, building your own network, whether it's 3G, well 3G is in the past. Building anything, 3G, 4G, 5G, 6G, 7G, 8G, 9G, 10G, etc., etc., etc. It takes years and a while. It takes engineers. You have to build the infrastructure. You have to build the towers. Then you have to do testing. Then you have to see. Does it work? It is uh, how far is it till you get no coverage? Do you get one signal? Do you get two bars, three bars? Do you get crashes on the phone? Do you get 300 megabytes speed, download speed, 100, one gigabyte? It takes a while for to build out your own network, regardless of what you're doing, because it honestly took T-Mobile. It took T-Mobile. I think. Since 2015 or 16, it took them a while to build their 4G network, and it just fair. It just depends on too, like how many engineers. Like for example, Verizon, they have the best engineers. They can crank up and do. They can crank up service fast. Uh, the same with AT and T. Even though you know Verizon's the biggest uh, company, AT and T and then T Mobile, but all, all work at their own pace. And Dish is barely starting. And I honestly wish Dish honestly went. A different route. I wish they used AT and T network or Verizon because T Mobile is literally switching Sprint network to T Mobile network. And I'm not bashing a T Mobile. I just honestly think that Dish could have gone a better route and they wouldn't have this issue. Honestly, because they wouldn't have any problems at all and. I'm not blaming any of these companies. It's just I just wish Dish, uh, Dish Network bit of, did a better decision when deciding which service to use temporarily before they build build out their own 5G network. And now with this issue, Dish is just gonna have to honestly. I think their network is gonna take even longer because of what T-Mobile is doing. And I don't blame T-Mobile. T-Mobile, you know, they do their thing. But if I was the CEO of, of Dish, I would honestly strip T-Mobile together. And go somewhere else temporarily. at t Verizon while I built my 5G network because I, I wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't be okay with it. I wouldn't blame T-Mobile. I would blame, you know, myself for choosing co uh, the company that's converting former towers into their new towers.